Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. We're staying here today at Budotfin Hotel. We're a nice private beach. <laughs> so we're filming this today as part of our Stay in Cornwall vlog series. We're going to show you our room, what the hotel has to offer and there's a lot. And then we're going to show you some walks and activities to do if you were to stay here. Budotveen is situated on the Helford River near Falmouth. Just wanted to let you know for reasons of transparency that we're actually being paid to make this video for you today. Welcome to the Budotveen Hotel near Falmouth. It's situated in a secluded valley on the River Helford. There's been a hotel here since the 1930s. Before that, it was a farm. We will be staying here for one night. We're going to share our experience with you. Our room is one of their signature rooms, which has been newly refurbished, decorated in a modern contemporary style. It has new luxury beds, an ensuite walk-in shower with a waterfall head. Oh, oh look at that! Enjoy. Indeed. I've gone for some lovely chicken strips and a salad and some chips <laughs> and cider. Why not? <laughs> so, Andrew, has there always been a hotel here? No, not always, but what you see here today, this was put in in the 1930s. It was called the Manor House Hotel at Budock Bean back then. But there's been a house here, some sort of manor house, I think all the way back to like the 1500s. Oh, wow. It's a long, long time. Oh, that is quite a long time. I also know as well, one of the previous owners of this, he was a Canadian and he manufactured confectionery and he introduced some peanut butter to the UK. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. That's nuts. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so, Beaudot the yeah. hotel on the river. Ah, so where's the river then? It's down here at the bottom of the garden. Well, you know what that means, don't you? What? We're going to have to go and find it. Yeah, let's go find the creek. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel is at the top of a valley that leads down to the Pelford. And it's on one of the creeks at Tidal and from here you can take a river cruise that will take you over to Frenchman's Creek around the Halford itself. We're going to be doing that tomorrow. If 
beautiful little creek. Idyllic. Hardly anybody there as well, which makes it so peaceful. This is a real retreat from modern life. How's it going? You sure we stay for a night? That's <laughs> why we stay for a month. <laughs> Don't you always find that packing for a night is just as bad as packing for like a week? <laughs> Let's take a look in the ensuite shower room. And it is a room, it's not just a little tacked on tiny cupboard. You've got full size walk in shower with, well, we're calling it a waterfall head, shower head. <laughs> Beautifully clean. Raise the piece of glass there. Right, I've got to find out how this works. Ooh, I think that did it. And this is a lovely touch. Look at this. Elemis products. What luxury. Heated towel rail as well. Goodness me, it is perfect. And these chairs, brilliant addition to the room. We have a couple of chairs, so if we wanted to watch telly, we can do so in comfort instead of lounging on the bed. Have you made use of the complimentary water? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to need it. So, yes. where are we going now then? The plan is to walk from here through the grounds to Halford Passage and if we've got time maybe have a drink in the pub before dinner. Brilliant. Sound like a plan? Yeah. To Halford Passage? Yes. Come on. We can lock this yeah. then. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can't get over just what a beautiful spot this is. As you walk down to the creek, it's gorgeous. It's so peaceful. It smells so fresh. The path to Halford Passage is up some steps and apparently it's quite steep so we'll definitely be earning our dinner. To walk into Halford Passage you'll pass through Budock Bean's very own nine hole golf course. Originally designed by legendary golfer James Braid in the 1920s, this challenging golf course is set in mature parkland and is playable throughout the year. Those are quite tall, aren't they? Not the easiest path, is it? No, so we've got to walk up that to oh, go back to get our dinner. Gosh, okay. Let's go find a pint first. <laughs> yeah. bit busy over there isn't it? It is. So we, found a quiet we found a quiet spot. Look at this. It's gorgeous view isn't it? So did you know if you had too much of this to drink you could apply for the job to be the ferryman? <laughs> Tell me more. I will. So do you want to learn more about the lazy drunken ferry boatmen from Helford Passage? Absolutely. Oh, they're in these couple of books. Two books? Two books. See which one you prefer. Today you spoil me with two books. <laughs> two books? I think I quite like this one. So this is called Around the Lizard. And I haven't had a chance to find out when or who or what. I think it's is. from the 60s. Oh, okay. 
1969 and it says of Helford, Helford owes its existence to the long established ferry which as early as the mid 16th century plied across from Helford Passage. It also says at either end of the journey today, picturesque and well known inns welcome the traveller. Helford Passage has the ferry boat in and its counterpart in Helford, the shipwright's arms. In earlier days, the ferrymen here were widely known for their laziness and drunkenness and many a would-be passenger set out in desperation on the long walk via Greek, which I believe is about 10 miles. Wow. All the way round. Now well known as a yachting centre, in former days the village was a notorious rendezvous for smugglers and their ponies, brandy, silk, tobacco, salt and tea, all finding their way at dead of night from this and other small quays along the Helford River to secret destinations inland. Brilliant. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Brilliant. Mm. Ferryman's coming back. Do you want to ask if you can have a job? <laughs> well, I'm lazy and drunk. Can I have a job, please? Well, I'll we'll oh. drive off the ferry for you. <laughs> wow, the weather's turned on us. Is it time to go back for some dinner? It's actually really pleasant because it's so hot, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Well, coming out on camera, it's probably looking quite dull, but it's really quite warm still, isn't nice it? Nicest part of the day, isn't it? Oh my goodness it's me. It's lovely, there's nobody on this beach. No. I think this is Bar Beach. I think so, Bar Cove. It's beautiful. Not Bar Code. <laughs> so we're going to head back now and have a dinner? I think so. Come on then. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's get some dinner. Scrub up right, really. <laughs> it's hard work, though, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit. <laughs> So many decisions. What to have? So I went with the Prosecco hand. Oh, Prosecco is what you're drinking at. Prosecco hand. Much good. I know. It's that cider down at um, Elford Passage, and that looks amazing. It's a mackerel. I nearly went for that. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Have I made the wrong decision? <laughs> How's your Prosecco, Andra? <laughs> Beautiful, yeah. What have you gone for then? Cake, cake. potatoes and hazelnuts. Can't wait to check in. I've gone for the beef. Yes, I noticed. A bit of English mustard. Very nice. That beef looks exquisite. It's beautiful, it's very tender. It's delicious. So I've gone for a wonderful lemon tart with a raspberry sorbet with some pistachio nuts. And you've gone for the classic. I did. Yeah, strawberries and cream. How much cream? No. Oh, I know, it's a, a lot, isn't it? Can I have a bit? Certainly, help yourself. <laughs> Goodness me! It's full size! It is, yeah. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I've got to have a game, sir. I can't play! <laughs> Choose your weapon. played before? No. Okay. So bring your hand down here a bit. That's it. A little bit closer. All right. Go and have a go then. All right, that was quite good. You could go for the black now. Oh, okay.
Good morning. Hello. How do you sleep? That bed is beautiful. It is so comfortable. The sheets are so soft. I want to take it home. <laughs> Don't we'll get out of the door. <laughs> no. <laughs> you ready for your breakfast? Yes, yeah. I'm just going to finish this. What a beautiful breakfast, breakfast to order. It's quite a choice as well, isn't it? Yeah, you fabulous. What you want. Yes, create your own breakfast. So are you going to talk us around that plate then? I will. So we've got some bacon, fried egg, uh, we've got Ash some Brown fried bread, mushrooms, we've got some sausage, beans, tomatoes, and some box pudding. Wow. All locally sourced. Where are you going to start? Very special experience about Budok Bean Hotel is the breathtaking coastal and creekside scenery. At the bottom of the garden, Helford River Cruises gives you an opportunity to explore the Helford River. We're down here waiting to go on a river cruise in a moment. The hotel is warm, welcoming, it's considered. Everything that you think you would want and more is kind of thought ahead. They, they just provide it for you. It's like an elegant swan floating on the surface with all of the action going on under the water. We've had a wonderful stay. We hope that if you would think about staying in Cornwall, you might go to their website, view.bean.co.uk. And if you do, that's our job done. We thoroughly recommend this hotel. It's warm, it's welcoming, and it's everything that you'd expect from this caliber of hotel. The luxury is there. The beds are comfortable, the, everything is immaculately clean. The food is delicious. You won't be disappointed. Setting off from Port Navis Creek, our boatman Roger has a wealth of information, pointing out some beautiful properties, really only visible from the water. We headed to Durgan idyllic spot, just perfect for that Facebook selfie. Then over to Helford Village. And my favourite Frenchman's Creek. This creek inspired Daphne du Maurier to write her novel of the same name, Frenchman's Creek. Finally, we visited Port Navas Creek, a stunningly beautiful location. The one with blue windows was the um, uh, key master's cottage. So if you ran the key, yeah. that's where you lived. I like that one. It is lovely, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I really enjoyed that. That's wonderful, wasn't it? Roger is so well informed about everything. It's Very amazing. knowledgeable. Very entertaining as well. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's a great way of exploring the actual river and understanding it more, actually being out there. It's, it's, amazing. it's beautiful out there, isn't it? Totally agree. It gives yeah. you that different perspective and being on the water. It's so much fun anyway, yeah, isn't it? I'm not usually very good on the water, but that was great. I really enjoyed it. <sighs> Love messing around on boats. Brilliant. <laughs> a big thank you to Halford River Cruises who gifted us our trip. So we're about to give you some suggestions that you can explore here locally without using your car and maybe some that for the more adventurous if you can drag yourself away from the hotel a little bit further afield. So if you don't want to leave this area, the local area, have you tried a visit to Glen Durgan Gardens? It's now owned by the National Trust and you can visit. Gardens are beautiful, very much a spring garden but they have put in other varieties of plants that give you colour all through the year and at the bottom of the garden is Durgan Beach. Absolutely stunning. So just across the river from Budock Dean, you'll find Helford Village. And it's a wonderful walk at Helford Village. It takes you to a little place called Frenchman's Creek. You might have heard of it. It's a novel by Daphne du Maurier. She visited here and stayed in a little cottage on her honeymoon and was so inspired she wrote the novel. It's a wonderful place to visit. Why not enjoy a pint at the shipwright? It looks so pretty, doesn't it? Another brilliant walk that we did last year was starting in Halford Village, again on the other side, on the south side of the Halford. It takes you out to Manacan, and then you come back and you take in all of the beautiful beaches along the south side of the river. Stunning walk. If you enjoy your walking, coastal or creekside, one of my favourite walks actually is really close here. You could do it from the hotel. It takes you out to Morn and Smith. We created a walk starting in Morn and Smith, walking down through Cowinian Woods and exploring every beach along the way. Being circular, you can follow this walk from the comfort of the hotel. If you actually can drag yourself away and want to go exploring Cornwall a little bit further, then why not visit St Michael's Mount? It's the most stunning, magical fairy castle set on a rocky outcrop in Mounts Bay. There's been a kind of priory there that dates back to 1044 and it is the most wonderful day out. No visit to Cornwall would be complete without a visit to the Eden Project. You'll find it near St Alstall. It's a brainchild of Tim Smith who created biomes in a former China clay quarry. You've got uh, complete paradise to walk through there, representing both rainforest environment and also a Mediterranean biome. And lastly, but by no means least, what about Porth Kerno? The Minot Theatre is down there, one of the most dramatic and beautiful settings for an outdoor theatre. Created by Rowena Cade in the 1930s, she actually constructed it so that the local amateur dramatic society could perform their annual play. Today, it is one of the most famous outdoor theatres in the world. Thank you so much to Budotveen Hotel for inviting us to film this Stay in Cornwall vlog. Yeah, we hope you've enjoyed watching. We've had a fabulous stay here. We've only yeah. had the one night, but there's so much to see and do and enjoy here. Boy, have we packed it in. We hope you've had a taster of what it could be like if you were to book here. Their website is budotveen.co.uk. Why not take a look for yourself? You'll have a lovely time. To find out more, check out their website, budocveen.co.uk. Mm -hmm.